This is Novigrad from the Witcher 3 game, and this is Los Santos from uh, GTA 5. And that is my lowest estimate for Night City size, and that is the highest estimate for Night City size. Alright, so first of all, uh, this video is not about comparing games, saying game A is better than game B, and I also do not think that size really matters when it comes to an open world RPG game. Of course, there is a bare minimum size that a map has to be to be interesting enough but i don't think bigger is necessarily better so now that we got this out of the way let me show to you how exactly I came up with these numbers. Before that, just would like to share to you the true motivation for me doing this video is I saw some discussion in Reddit lately, especially after the release of the World of Cyberpunk 2077 lore book that was released a few days ago, actually a few weeks ago, depending on where you live. And there is this image on the Night City map. And it says that Night City has a total area of 75.4 42 square kilometers and I saw a lot of people fighting over those numbers and saying though this is BS this is pure lore and whatsoever and I decided to try to check out for myself so hence this video Right, the first way I tried to measure the Night City map was by going back to gameplay footage and using the speedometer of the Quadra vehicle to try to measure distance. And the first footage I tried to use was the most recent one, that one presented on Night City Wire on the demo that they released. You were driving around really fast with your vehicle and I thought that could be a good estimate for the distance because you were traveling a lot. And this shot particularly is great because you have both the mini map on the top right corner and you also have this pedometer on the bottom left corner. So by tracking and taking notes every second, the current velocity of the car, doing some numerical integration and all. And oh, by the way, it was kind of funny because yesterday I just watched a video from Vsauce that he explained exactly how you can find distance based on velocity. Anyway, using this velocity data, I came up with what actually is my highest boundary for Night City size. I was quite impressed about this size and not 100% sure about it, but I triple checked my data and my footage and it all apparently checks out. So the distance traveled there was roughly 1 kilometer, 1.1 kilometer, and applying the scale for the whole map, that gives us a roof square of 106 kilometers squared, uh, which means that from north to south, Night City will have roughly 10 kilometers. Then I went back in time to 2018, grabbed that footage from I think E3, if I remember correctly, that show you driving a lot as well, and I used that footage. The biggest drawback about this is that we do not have a minimap, so I had to sort of backtrace the, the path the vehicle took and did my best to estimate the distance traveled on the map. Explore Night City freely in many different cars, on bikes, and in other types of vehicles. This does not look good. Puta madre! Grab the wheel, Jack! Oh, fuck! Using that footage, I found out that the vehicle traveled roughly 561 meters and applying the scale on the map, I came with the size of 54.5 kilometers square for this whole area, this whole square. And that will give us a 7.4 kilometers across north and south. And surprisingly, these two results were significantly different. So I went on and I tried a third footage from this year, from the gig trailer, that shows us driving around the crop fields to the south. Here in the footage, we can see clearly that we transversed three of those green houses and just before the cutscene changed perspective, since this uh, jacket is driving the car, it's not us, the velocity is really stable at 45 miles per hour. So assuming that this velocity is kept constant through all the scene, I came with the estimate of 62.2 kilometers square uh, so yeah it is consistent i mean 
we're narrowing down a little bit more and more. As I said, I used three different methodologies. This is just the first of them. Let's go to the next one. But before that, I need to ask you for your subscription. It is so important for me and so I can have more reach to the channel. And not only that, I will be revisiting this video as soon as we have more information. So if you want to keep up with the latest Cyberpunk 2077 news, if you want to know the exact size of the map, just make sure to subscribe so you won't miss that type of content. All right, this second way I used to measure the scale of the map was going back again to 2018 footage and when we are inside V Watson apartment there's those markers that show distance we know that we are currently 200 ish meters from the Reaper Doct clinic and by judging the, the view here and comparing this with the 3D map, we know that uh, this apartment is facing south. And also by following the character, we can estimate the location of the Reaper Dock facility. And plotting that on the map, I was able to come up with the estimate of 55.9 km square for this whole image, leaving uh, 7.5 km from north to south. Another piece of footage that we can use to estimate the distance on the map is the moment you go back to your car after after getting your implants on the Reaper dock, you have to drive to that meeting with the Militech agent. And there's two markers there. There is the meeting point with the agent and there is the all food plant that is ruled by those Maelstrom guys. And then again, tracing the path of the vehicle, we can pinpoint the exact location of those two markers on the map. Then we measure the distance, make the scale. And by that, I could estimate the map has 51.4 km square. So all those numbers are starting to converge to some 50 something square kilometers, I think. But there's one more way that I try to measure the size of the map is by estimating the size of the runway for the orbital station. So normally runways have about 1.8 kilometers up to 3 kilometers. And that would give us an estimate size for the map from 83.3 kilometers square up to 231 kilometers square. I personally think this upper limit is way too big for the map. So I just ignore that and use the 83.3 kilometers. So here we have it. The upper limit for the square of the map is roughly 106 kilometers square. And the lower limit I could came up with was 51.4 kilometers square. Uh, the whole Witcher map for Novigrad, uh, No Man's Land and Valand is about 18.2 km square and that number was surprisingly a little bit hard to get because I googled around and the numbers were vastly different. Some sources say that the Witcher 3 map had like 136 km square, others say that it was 15. So basically I had to reinstall the game and measure that myself and I came up with this rough estimate. And as for the GTA 5 my map size, I don't want the game, so I just have to try my best to search the, the size on the internet. And I use this web page that is linked in the video description. It could be off. I cannot know for sure. But judging by the block sizes, comparing to block sizes of Night City, it looks fair, actually. So the whole map for GTA 5 is on the upper limit of uh, my estimate for the Night City map. And when you compare just the city, the urban area, the Night City is vastly bigger than Los Santos. All right, now that we have all the numbers on the table, I would just like to discuss a handful of uh, another topics that are important for this whole discussion. Uh, first of all, when we compare the Witcher 3 with uh, Cyberpunk 2077 map, according to the latest interview on uh, Mad Queen's show uh, on that live stream that we had, uh, I think it was one week ago, uh, the developer said that uh, when we compare Witcher 3 with uh, Cyberpunk 2077, it's, it's really different the experience because they, they think they nailed down the urban exploration aspect like 
really well. Uh, on their own words, they say when you're exploring on Witcher 3, you just see that mountain like really far away and you, you think yourself, okay, I want to go there and you ride your roach there. And this is the kind of exploration. It's like much open. Uh, however, when you when you're going around Night City, it's much more in an intimate experience where you go every single alley and you get surprised, you get woed by uh, what's on every corner. So it's the verticality is insane. You can just look at the trailers. There's levels over levels over levels. And there's so many layers uh, on this map. Because this comparison I'm doing here is only on the 2D area. If we go to the layers that there are on Night City, man, this is so immense. Another important topic that I would like to address on this video is that the map used here from the World of Cyberpunk lore book is not everything there is on the game. If you see some footage, there is, for example, this map do not cover Badlands. We have no idea how big the Badlands are on the game. And we saw some footage and it looks like it's huge. Because when we're driving to Night City, if we start as a nomad, we drive for a long time before being able to barely see the landscape for Night City. And that's not only all of it. If you see the footage, we cross some sort of checkpoint that it looks like there's a wall surrounding the southern border of Night City. And that wall is probably not represented on this map. Because if we compare the, 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 the gameplay footage, after we cross the, that checkpoint, we get chased down by some marks of uh, Arisaka. And we drive through those crops, those greenhouses that are also not 100% fully uh, showed on this map. So to the south, we have a whole bunch of more of those crops. Then we probably have this sort of wall or checkpoint that separates Night City from Badlands. And then we have Badlands. So this map has some potential to be vastly bigger than that. We also have the northern borders. On this concept art, we can have an idea of how big it could be, the whole map. And see on the north, there's those oil fields that are not included on the map. There's a whole bunch of crop fields to the south. There's also the solar power plant on the east that is also not on the map. So yeah, there's a lot of things that we're still missing on this map. How much of this would be actual is explorable? Uh, I don't know. I guess we have to wait and see. But one thing that I know is that would be really, really cool if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will keep you up to date to the latest cyberpunk news. Thank you so much for watching this video and I see you next time.